Elena in Chile, Linda, oh Charlotte, Oregon Coast, welcome, welcome everybody. Can you guys say hi? Hi. Hi. So, yeah, I know. Today we are doing a kettlebell power circuit, and I am very excited to be back with you. All right, guys, can you say bye and go with Daddy? Bye. Say have a good workout. Uh uh uh. uh. Okay, can you get your babies? Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, so as usual, we're going to send the children away. Okay, I got it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and we are going to jump right in. Welcome, Nia, Alyssa. Jess is here. Oh, <laughs> Jess is recovering from her son finding a dead mouse in her workout room. Ooh, I would be recovering from that as well. Okay, here, here, here. You got it, you got it. Got to get all the babies out of the way. Yay, Sean, happy birthday. Ready for a good birthday sweat. Excellent. Ah, Julia says I have my own emoji. Oh, I have to find that one. I haven't seen that one. All right. Nia's kids are always excited to see them. I'm so glad because it's always chaos in here, right? All right. Yes, I am wearing my St. Patty's Day colors. That is intentional and my favorite kettlebell shirt, which you can get on the website. Okay. Okay. Here goes Maya with all the babies. No, I only have two babies. Oh, just two babies today. Okay. Okay. She takes care of a lot of babies. Adriana is here. Awesome. All right, Tierra. Happy Saturday. Okay, team. So kettlebell power circuit. As you know, I was gone last weekend. I went to Hawaii. It was amazing. 10 year anniversary trip with Kurt. We were able to sneak away for a few weeks or a few weeks. I wish a few days, uh, but you did power circuit last week, bodyweight power circuit. If you did the premiere, it was pre-recorded. And then two weeks ago, we did dumbbell power circuit. It's going to be the same format. So we're going to have the three circuits, three moves where we get the strength version for 40 seconds and then the power version for 30 seconds. And then we may have a little surprise at the end. If you've done them, you probably know what to expect. All right, so I'm going to get everything going. Make sure that you have your kettlebells close by. I'm gonna get a little airflow here. I'm gonna get my timer going. All right, so again, as always, I will give you lots of different options. You can always just on the second round, repeat the strength round if you don't wanna take it to the power, but you do you, be where you are today. You know what I always say, make sure that you have your water close by. If you don't have a kettlebell, use a dumbbell or just show up and move your body. Jean is here, Angela is here. Oh, thank you guys. All right. So let's go ahead, give her some, some, some space and get ready. Let's roll those shoulders. Go ahead and start with that little march or jog, whatever is good for you. Honey is here. Welcome. So good to see you. Roll those shoulders to the back. Ooh, let's try to release any tension that we had maybe from the week, from the day, from the month, whatever it is. Let's just let it all go. We're just gonna be here together today. I'm so excited to see you. Carrie is here and ready to work. I love it. Lindsay, it's kids tea time there in England, so she's gonna do it later. I love it. Natalie in Minnesota, big deep breath in. Natalie and her husband, amazing. So fun to see so many body fit athletic clubbers here today. One more right here. Woo! Take it one arm at a time, just like this. Feeling super tight in those shoulders today. As always, I need to work on that. Get a little more mobility in my leg. Let's open up those arms right here. Yes. And big step out. All the way through. You can reach it down, reach it up. Let's take it stationary, here to here, just like this. And then flat back down and round it up all the way through the spine, roll through the back. One more right here. And shoulders. All right, we're gonna squat it down. Then we're gonna hinge it just like this. So sit low in that squat, make them different, and hinge. Rick is here for the first time live. Yasmin is here. 
Loretta is excited. So happy to see so many of you. And then let's reach it down, reach it up. You can keep it here or inch warm it out. Out to here and walk it back at your own pace. Whatever is good for you. Let's get one more right here. Here we go. Take it here if you want. Press up to that down dog. You can also just take it to the knees, get a little cat to cow. Reach it back if you want. Whew. Yes, through the back. And up, and walk those hands back. Reach it back. Hey, Michael is here. Oh, Michael and his wife have been working out together for three to four times a week for five years. Amazing. That makes me so happy. All right, so hold it down here. If you can, we're gonna drop that knee, drop that hand, otherwise stay upright. Drop the knee here to here. And then take that top arm, reach under and up, under and up. One more and step it in and through. Here we go, other side, take it back. Open up the hip. Hey, Emily is here, drop that knee. Just saying hi, but doing some yard work. You can always do this later. Hopefully you have some good weather for it. Reach under and up. Hey, Brittany, welcome. And step it in team right here. Round it up, tap and reach. Here we go. All right, team, so I'm gonna fix my ponytail while we're doing this. Here is what we've got. You just keep tapping and reaching. We have got three rounds, three moves and we will get them two times in those rounds. Reach it over your head. Let's take it hamstrings right here. So we have our strength round, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Then we are taking it to a power round. So we'll have a power version of that same move. All right, let's cross those knees right here. Hey, Cheetah, welcome. Cheetah Flowers is here. So. The power version, sometimes it will add a little bit of impact. Sometimes it's just gonna add some power, but I will give you options. Then after that, we have a little surprise at the end of every circuit when we get through those two rounds, and then we'll keep it moving. All right, are we ready? Our very first round, we're gonna grab that kettlebell. Catch your breath. Woo, that's not the one I want, right? <laughs> so you just keep moving. Go ahead and grab your kettlebell. We got your basic goblet squat. You know it, you love it. You can have your hands here, you can flip it, whatever is best for you, or you can keep it low. We're just taking it with the squat. Then we've got our regular curl and press, and then we've got some core at the bottom with a Russian twist, all right? So those are your three moves. Go ahead and shake it out. Grab some water if you need it, because I know my heart rate is up after that. Woo! Karina, hi, welcome. All right, team, so on this goblet squat, things I want you to think about are sitting low and driving up through the heels. Weight is at the center, core is engaged. We're gonna zip it up right here, roll those shoulders back. Strength around, 40 seconds, three, two, one. Here we go. Take it down, drive it up just like this. And up. So I really want you to think on the strength round especially, because the power round is gonna move a little quicker. So I want you to really think about your form, right? Weight in the heels, getting low, keeping the chest lifted, keeping that core zipped. Again, if it feels better for you to have the weight at the bottom, that's okay, just keep that chest lifted. Drive up through the heels, yes you can. And up, you're here. And breathe. We got five. Four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds to breathe. If you need a break from holding the kettlebell, drop it down. We're gonna take it just to our basic curl and press. Try to go heavy if you can, because you got it between two hands. Core is zipped. If you need to put one foot back for balance, go for it. Otherwise, bicep curl and press, starting in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Up, up, down and down. If it's feeling too easy, you can always split the time between two hands. 
but it's up to you. I have one foot back just to avoid leaning into it. You can be parallel as well, but we wanna make sure we stay nice and steady, right? And we're not leaning into it as we bring it up right here. Up, up, down, and down 10 seconds. You got it, team. Hey, Alexandra is just hopping on. Is gonna go back to the start and relax, shake it out. All right, team, bring it down. Now we got our core. So most of these will be lower body, upper body, and then core. We're gonna take it here. It's just your super basic Russian twist. If you need to modify, I want you to sit up nice and tall and just go side to side. Otherwise, bring it back right here. We're up and down, right? So your side to side. I don't want you to go super fast with that weight, even if you have a lighter weight. You can lean back a little, you can take those feet out, you can take the weight out of it if that is better for you and where you are today. Be where you are today, but I want that good deep core engagement. As you're moving the weight, you're staying pulled in in the center, right? Notice I'm not going super fast. And breathe, 10 seconds. Yes, woo, there we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, bring it up. So here's what we got. We got a little power here. We're gonna take the weight low for this squat. Watch me here. We're gonna drop it down. We're gonna power it up, either with a jump or up on the toes. Then grab the weight, pull it back up. Are you with me? 30 seconds, here we go. Drop it down, power. Pull it up strong. Down, power, jumper, toes. Up strong. As you come up out of it, I want you to really drive up, connect with the glutes and that pelvic floor. At the top, yes you can. And up. You don't have to jump, you do you. Toes, you can still get that power just by coming up strong. Last one. Woo! Yes, breathe. So with the power round, as you can feel, comes a little bit whoo, of that extra heart rate. So we have a little bit longer recovery. You can tap it out, whatever you need to do to keep it moving. We're gonna take it curl and press, watch me. We're gonna take it to a clean and press. So you're gonna toss it and power press like this. Little clean toss, press it strong. Join me, here we go. Hup. You're up. So the clean is just a little bit of power as you toss it to yourself. If you don't feel comfortable with that, just keep that curl and press. That works. Up, up, whoo, and breathe. Clean, press, yes. Five seconds, strong arms, all the way through, three, two, one. Relax, tap it out. Give yourself a break from holding that weight. All right, we're taking it Russian twist. You can keep just what we just did. Remember, if you're modifying, you can go seated or even standing here to here. If you can, here's how we're gonna add a little power. We're taking it halfway back or all the way back. Up, twist, twist, or halfway, twist, twist. If that's too much, or again, if you need to take the kettlebell out, go for it. Otherwise, join me here. Here we go, 30 seconds, power. Up, twist, twist, take it down, and up. Twist, twist, power. We're still going slow on our way down, all right? Slow and controlled, then power up. Yes, you can. There we go. Whoo, strong, all the way through. You got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, if you were here last week, did the premiere last week or did the live two weeks ago, you know the surprise is that we are getting a 30 second bonus move after every thing we do. So get excited about it. It's a way to combine two out of the three or three out of the three. Have a good time with it. It's only 30 seconds, then we get a breather. All right, here's what we got. You probably knew it was coming, all right? We're gonna take it low. We're gonna clean, squat, press. Yes, you can. Down, clean, squat, press. You can also get the power just by doing a squat, 
curl and a press. Again, if that clean is not right for you, totally fine. Let's get 30 seconds, zip up that core, start low. All you got is 30, so all the power, compound movement, all the heart rate, getting it done in three, two, one. Here we go. Clean, squat, press, and down. Here, squat, press, or just squat and curl and press. Or I guess rather it would be curl, squat, and press. Halfway there, clean, and up. Yes, stay with me. Power, take it here, clean, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Catch your breath, team. Quick sip of water. Whew. Another little bonus is that we're gonna get a kettlebell swing after each of these rounds. You probably knew that was coming too. All right, team. Whew. Grab a heavier weight if you've got it. Bend your knees to get it. If you have never done a swing before, or you're not comfortable with it, or you need to modify for any reason, you're gonna take it with just that deadlift. You're just here to here. It's a hinge. That is how our swing starts. Then we're gonna power it back, drive it up. Remember, you're locking out of the top, standing tall, push into those feet. 30 seconds is all we need. Let's get it done. Roll those shoulders back. Prep it three, two, one. Power with the swing or the deadlift. Whatever is good for you. Remember my swings and how I think we should all do swings. We're gonna keep it chest level to eye level or below. Even if you just get it to here, that still is a really powerful swing. I don't want you to go over the head. You don't think it's effective and it's often not safe. So we're just taking it here, drive it up. You got five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Pedal those feet, team. We're gonna go into our next round. You have a second to breathe, <laughs> right? All right, guys, this one will be a little bit longer because we have a lot of right side, left side, but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna start with just our lunges on each side. We're gonna take it regular lunge. We're gonna take it curtsy lunge, one and then the other. I'm gonna have that kettlebell on that outside arm, but it's up to you. You'd rather do it no weight or kettlebell at the center, all right? So right leg forward, stepping back with the left. Here we go, three, two, one. We're lunge. We're here, yes. Take it lunge, cross it over. Yes, you can, it's 40 seconds. And again, if holding that weight feels like too much, the nice thing about this is we can hold it on one side, that's gonna get the core engaged. Working really hard, right? Zip it up, here, and cross. Yes, here, and cross. And then that hand will get a break. This hand has a break right now. Cross it over. One more right here. And cross. Yes. Hands get a little break. We're gonna switch it to that other side. Heart rate dries up on that. I know. I felt it too. Remember, you can always just tap it back here to here, or you can just do the regular lunge. Grab that weight, zip up that core. Ready? Here we go. We got lunge, we got curtsy. Modification, just tap and tap, but front leg is still getting the work, or don't go as low. Whatever is best for you, and watching that weight. Remember, it's gonna pull you this way. Your job, this is where our core is working super hard, is to stay steady, right? Whoo! Breathe, yes! 10 seconds. Woo! There's that balance. We got five, four, three, two, one. And relax, shake it out. All right, now we got right side, left side with a row. So go heavy if you can. We're gonna stagger it here. You can also be here if this is better, but we're gonna go full 40 seconds right here. All right, so zip up that core, stagger it, ready, here we go. Let's go up and down. So I'm gonna turn my kettlebell as I come forward. So I get a little bit of that rotation 
and then here, here to here. Really think about squeezing the shoulder blades. It's a hinge here, all through the back. Yes, I know, we're gonna feel it. A lot going on in this round, but you're gonna love it, right? Whew. Yes, breathe, 10 seconds. Ha, yes, three, two, one. Glad I used that one. Eight kilograms, 17.6 pounds. Let's get it done. Other side. Yes, 11 p.m. in India watching live, but we'll do it tomorrow. Yes, these lives stay up. You can do them at any time. Let's hinge it here. Core engage, drop it down. Here we go, 40 seconds. Again, watch how I'm gonna rotate my hand to here. It's not a wide row, you're still pulling it in close to your body, but we're getting that movement through the shoulder girdle, which is good for mobility and flexibility, right? Take it here, rotate it down, and up, yes. Whoo, breathe, ha, yes. All the way through, 10 seconds to go. You got it. Ha. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, shake it out. All right, team, so to stretch out through the back of the legs and the upper body, we're gonna get some core in that high plank position. You can be on your knees if that works for you and just push up to down dog here. Otherwise, it's that regular plank. Join me here in three, two, one. You got your down dog stretch and core. So, what we did here, we're sneaking in mobility and making it core cardio mobility as we take it here to here, because we just had a lot in that hinge position, a lot of hamstrings and glutes, a lot of the back of the arms, so we're getting it done. Hopefully you're enjoying that, but also feeling your core. I'm gonna give you an option. If you wanna cross it, cross it knee and here, or toe, whatever is good for you. Five seconds. You got three, two, one. Stretch it back. All right, team, we got power. Round 30 seconds is all that we need. Let's get it done. What do we got first? We got the lunge and the curtsy. All right, so we got 30. We're taking it here. Drive the knee up here. Drive the knee up. Now, you do what you need to do. If you wanna do it with no weight, that's what I'm gonna do. Otherwise, have that weight down. Little jump in three, two, one. Here we go. Down, up, down. Here, drive it up. Curtsy, drive it up. If you're comfortable with that weight, with or without that jump, whew, yes, you can. It's a lot, right? So you might wanna do it without the weight, but it's totally up to you. It's power. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Shake it out. Yes, team. Woo. All right, let's get the same thing other side. With or without the weight, lunge and knee, curtsy and knee, with or without a jump, it is totally up to you. Zip up that core. Give yourself a second to settle that breath. Power in three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge, knee, cross, knee. You can drive it up. You can even get that power if you're modifying and not going as low. But if you can, whew, yes, up and down. Huh. 10 seconds, let's get it done. Whew. Breathe, three, two, and one. Ha. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. All right, team, you know this. I'm gonna go a little lighter with my weight. But with our row, we've got row and high pull. If you're comfortable with a kettlebell snatch, you can do that too. Watch me. One row, one high pull. One row, power it up, all right? So the high pull comes up to here. If you're not comfortable with that, just keep the row. If you're comfortable with the snatch, take it there. Ready? Here we go, row, high. Take it row, and high. Woo, up, 
take it low. Ha! So you really have to use that leg on that high pull to help you come up. Your legs are helping, even though it's back, even though it's upper body. And breathe. Take it up. And power. Last two. One more. Boom. Ah, oh, that is challenging. All right, I know that high pull with a heavy weight, it's difficult. So use the power from the legs to bring it up. It's not just straight up here. It's hinge power and leg power. Let's get it done. Same thing on the other side. Core engaged. You're staggered. Let's get it done. In three, two, one. Here we go. Row, high pull. Row, high pull. Get it done. Power it up. Or just your row. That works too. If you're comfortable with a snatch, you can do that too. Probably not gonna see it's too high. Row, high pull. Power, let it drop. Row, power, let it drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes! I know, team. All right, so we are in that down dog. Here's what we're adding. We're adding a side plank rotation. So you're here. You're taking it up. Power. Take it up. Power. If you want to be on your knees, take it here. You can still do down dog. Take it to the knees. Whatever is best for you, let's get it done. 30 seconds. We're getting that mobility too. Three, two, one. Down dog. Power to the side. Down dog. Power to the side. Really think driving those hips up, pushing those heels down. You don't have to go as fast as me either. You can really take your time. If you wanna hang out in that down dog, take it here, that works. Whew. Breathe, yes. Up, high. Last one. Breathe, stretch it back. All right, team, should we get it done with this bonus? Yes, all we got is 30 seconds. It's probably what you think it's gonna be. We're gonna lunge it, row. We're gonna step it up, high pull, then put it down. Lunge it, row, step it up, high pull. Just put number one and number two together, you can do it. Three, two, one. Lunge, row, high pull, drop it down. Other side, lunge, row. High pull, yes you can. I know we're tired. High pull, whew. Lunge, row. If you don't, if you're not feeling that, just get the lunge in the row. You're still gonna get the power, right? Lunge, row. Take it up, five seconds, can you get two more? Last one. And up, woo! Catch your breath, grab some water, kettle bell, swing. Let's get it done. Ha! Less than 10 minutes to go, team. Can we get it in? I think so. We got our swing, 30 seconds. Modification, take it to the deadlift. Otherwise, let's swing it in three, two, one. Power. Now, when our heart rate's already up, we were already feeling it. I want you to pay extra attention to that core, to those stabilizing muscles all through the center. Pull those shoulder blades in. Squeeze in the armpits. I know that sounds weird, but keeping them close together is really gonna activate those lats. Push your feet into the floor. Drive it up for three, two, one. And relax. Yes, team, catch your breath. All right. So, quick sip if you need it. We got our last round. We're gonna get it done. A lot of it's on the floor. We're gonna go side lunge here. One and then the other, you can do it. Grab that weight, let your breath settle. Lower body, just your side lunge. Really get deep into the hip. In three, in two, breathe, one. Here we go. Remember how we've been talking about some of the ways to increase our intensity are not about doing more, it's about resting less, right? 
So I'm keeping this stationary. You can step into it if you want, but I really want you to focus on the strength. Power it up. Alternating. Drive the hips, hinge it here. Watch my chest, it's going down. Then push out of the hip right here. So if you wanna hand off your kettlebell so you can get a little closer, that works too. And breathe. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it down on your back, shake it out. So we're here. We got strength. We got that chest press. So we get triceps, we get chest and shoulders. We're gonna take it with a little bit of core. So we're just taking it up and down, up and down. Little bonus core already. Here we go. Press, extend, back to center. Slow and controlled. Of course, your modification is just a bridge. Go straight up, straight down. So we're getting a lot of that press motion, a lot of that push, but also getting a lot of triceps because our elbows are in close. Straight up and down. You're here to here. Core is engaged, making sure that we tilt that pelvis in, that everything is pulled in right here. Straight up and down. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's keep it moving with our core. We're gonna come on those elbows. If you're modifying, you're gonna do an elbow bird dog right here. You're still gonna feel it. If you're here with me, you're crossing it over, back to center, cross it over, back to center. Here we go. You're in that elbow plank. Cross over a little hip dip. Cross over a little hip dip. So you know that hip dip we do right here? You're crossing the leg over. So you get some inner outer, inner outer, up to you. Modification again is that elbow bird dog, which is super challenging, right? You can do it. Keep it going. Stay lifted in the center. Little tuck of the pelvis. Dip of the hips, pull everything in. And breathe. Yes. Five, four, three, two, stretch. All right, team. This is it. Power round. Here's what we got with or without your kettlebell. You're taking it here, step it through. Here, step it through. So a little power on the step. It's only 30 seconds. I'm gonna hand off my kettlebell. If you'd rather do it body weight, take it there. Let's do it. Step through and shuffle. Or just step through like our regular alternating side lunge with a step into it. Power, lean into it, push out of that hip. Yes, you can. I know we're tired but you're gonna get this done with me right now. We got five, four, three, two, one. Breathe, ha! Huh? Catch your breath. I know, team. All right, we're taking it down. So, we've got our press. Here's what we got, team. Ha! We're gonna bring it up. You're gonna do a crunch with it as the knees go out, or take it just with the bridge. That's your modification. We got crunch and leg, power press. Three, two, one. Lift it up, leg out. <sighs> Lift it up. I really want you to tuck that chin so you're not pulling with the neck. You're keeping it in the core. Remember, tilt the pelvis. <sighs> Even though we are adding a little power with that press, Still focus on those triceps, shoulders and chest, arms, everything in and out. Power, slowly down. Power, slowly down. Three, two, one. Relax. All right, team, so we are here. Woo! Let's take it here. Here's what we got. We're gonna cross and press. Take it up, take it down. Cross and press, you can do this. Yes, we're adding a little extra upper body as you cross for the core, but you got it. Let's get it done. Stay low on the cross, up and down in between. In three, two, one, 30 seconds. Cross it over, a little tilt. Take it up, take it down. Cross it over, a little tilt. Take it up, take it down. So cross, 
And then think right, left, right, left. And cross, left, right, left, right. So close, team. 10 seconds to go. Breathe. Woo! Take it here. Ha! Time for one more. Woo! Yes! Ha! Who is feeling it? Alozia is gonna do this tomorrow. Happy Saturday. Ha! Quick sip of water if you need a team. We got our last bonus move. Getting it done right here. All right, we're gonna keep it low, team. Here's what we got, bring it down with me. Whew. We're gonna take it for a full minute, all right? And then we might have one more swing, but you can do it. All right, so let's take it here. We're gonna press and crunch, leg out, press and crunch, roll it over, tap it here, and just do your cross. You can forget about the plank press, then roll it back. You gotta grab your kettlebell in between, so take your time. That's why we're going a full minute. I don't want anybody rushing with that weight. All right, let's get it done. If you're modifying, just keep the bridge. Take the plank out of it. Ready, here we go. Press and crunch and bicycle two times. Roll it over. Get set up on that plank. Cross it over, tilt. Cross it over, tilt. Roll it over. Grab that kettlebell. Here we go. Breathe, all the core, roll it over, get set up, cross hip dip, cross hip dip, maybe roll it over other way. Whoo, that's a little hard, right? Grab it here, we're already halfway there. Breathe, roll it over other side. Cross and cross, back center, take your time getting that kettlebell, 15 seconds. Take it over. Whoo! Whose core is on fire? I know mine is. Shh. Ha ha ha. Last one right here. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Yes, team. Up on your feet. That was your last official bonus, but how about one more swing? Because it's a kettlebell workout. Let's get it done. In the center. 30 seconds is all that we need. Let's do it right in the center, hinge with a deadlift if you're modifying. Otherwise, strong 30 seconds. If you wanna hand off that kettlebell one at a time, you can as well. Take it here, prep it. Three, two, power, last thing, here we go. So regular swing or handoff swing. If you've done that before, you're comfortable with it, you gotta get a little more power through that hinge, through the back of the legs. You're not comfortable with that or you've never done it. Just keep it simple. It's still gonna be challenging. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes! Swing and relax. Pedal those feet. You did it! Ha! Ah, how do you feel, team? I hope you feel good. I hope you feel accomplished. If you have sweat in your eye, like me, whoo! All right, weights out of the way. Just shake that out. That was intense, guys, I know, because we moved quickly between those circuits. We moved quickly between that power round. Bonus move with every circuit. What? And swing with every circuit. You did it. Just moved up to 35 pounds for swings. Amazing, so proud of you, Jess. One of our loyal members of the Body Fit Athletic Club. So I'm more familiar with her journey, her personal journey. Guys, if you're looking for more guidance on your journey, on your personal fitness and nutrition goals, the Athletic Club is where you wanna be. That is where you get access to me, to Vivian, our Body Fit Dietitian. You get a nutrition plan that is not a diet. It is not restrictive. It's just ways to nourish our bodies and enjoy food. But that's where we get to know you. That's why I'm calling out these people, Jess and whew, Charlotte. So many of our Body Fit Athletic Clubbers who are here, I get to know you there. It's really fun for me and fun for you. So if you are able, join us over there. It takes place in a Facebook group. 
we get a lot done. Otherwise, make sure that you are in our show up and keep moving group and that you're on the email list where you can get these free weekly and monthly workout calendars. Take them up top. <sighs> Take it over. Yes, Lori, burn, baby, burn. I'm so glad. Y'all, this is really this week. So as you know, I was modifying a lot and I had a lot of guest stars, Kurt and Elise. Don't worry, they will be back. I know you all love them. I did too. It's always fun to work out with a friend. But as I was recovering from my skin surgery on my shoulder, on my leg, this is really my first full week back. I've been back and filming for you guys and here, and it feels so good. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little deconditioned. As I told you guys, if you got hand on the wall, one foot up, if you got my newsletter last week or saw my blog, the thing is when we take time off, we don't lose strength. Our bodies don't change as much as we think that they do. We just feel it a little bit more in the endurance. That's the main thing. So that's what I was feeling today. I knew I could do it. I knew I still had that strength and that muscle memory, but I could feel it in my endurance, but it felt good, y'all. All right, excellent. Sean could do 40 pound swings. Jamie, great job. Time flew by, that's what I like to hear. You guys know I want a Dana from the Athletic Club and Kayla from the VAC and Melody. So many friends here, Sabrina. All right, team, we're gonna hang out and do a Q&A. If you have any questions for me, you have time to hang out. Let's get one big, Deep breath in and out, you did it. That was your kettlebell power circuit workout. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Woo! Alyssa says I should have a lease for a live Saturday workout. Ooh, she would love that. Yes, we should totally do that. As you know, we've had Kurt the last couple times. He was in last week's, which was recorded. And I don't know, three weeks ago, were you live? I think so. All right. It requires a little more help with child care when we do that. Okay, team, so if you want to hang out, let's hang out. If you have any questions for me, I would love to chat with you. Woo, my muscles are feeling it. I'm dripping the sweat. I don't know about you. All right, team. Yes, let's see who is here. Woo. Shelly did the kettlebell burnout this morning, and then this. Shelly, that kettlebell burnout was a burnout, right? I'm proud of you. Get some rest now. Mm. Andrea says her boyfriend Mike wants more partner workouts. Honey, did you hear that? More partner workouts. He said can't wait with lots of enthusiasm, right? <laughs> um, I should make a list for you guys of the ones that Kurt is in. I know many of you have said that um, maybe if your partner's boyfriend's husband's or other people weren't convinced that these workouts were suitable for men. Obviously we have tons of men that join in on the workouts, but um, I know it's helpful when there's a guy doing the workout. So if you check out body weight power workout from last week, um, I'm gonna have to think of the other ones, but I'll make a list and I'll put it on my social media in case uh, any of you all wanna know what specifically workouts Kurt is in, he will hate that, but he prefers to be behind the camera, but he loves working out, so. Uh, boom, Lori, great workout. Feeling it and sweating too, yay. All right, what did I miss? All right, so Melody loved having the bonus moves after every round. Oh, too rainy to get out for a run. That's all right, you always got this. Plenty of time to run later. Thank you, Sean, thank you, Elena. Elizabeth, where can I find your calendar of workouts for the rest of March? So if you go onto my website, or it actually should be in the description here, um, you can find to get on my email list or mailing list. Um, it will be a pop-up on the website or you can find it a few different places. I send out a weekly email on Sundays. I promise I'm not spamming you with tons and tons of emails. It's just once a week. And at the beginning of the month, we send out the full calendar. It's actually in every week, but then on Sunday, we send out the actual links to the workouts. The workouts get released daily, but if you want the links early, we send you out the unlisted links. So a little, you get a little inside scoop because I know a lot of you want to do them in a different order or maybe you're in a different time zone. You don't want to wait around for them. So make sure you're on the email list. That is where you get those workouts early. Then you can create your own playlist or you can go to them right from the email. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. Nia, glad you're feeling better. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Sean did the burnout this morning too. Amazing. Just love the plank crossovers. Yeah, those are kind of fun, right? We feel that hip and those obliques a little bit more. Jean is a sweaty mess too, but in a good way. 
Yes, amazing. Teresa, that was awesome. Um, Charlotte did the active recovery this morning. I don't think I could have done double kettlebells. Yeah, I don't think I could have done either. I'm so impressed with those of you all that did that. But active recovery is a really good one if you want something just for a little bit of movement and mobility. Um, let's see. Amy's asking, do you typically start on one side for lunges? I still find myself getting a little mixed up. Any tips? So, you know, it, there have been a lot of workouts in the past where I've done like maybe a lunge on the right and then a row on the right and then something else and then lunge on the left. I've been kind of trying to do more of the back to back. When I do that, it's usually because I want to, um, to give your lower body a break. As you know, you can do a lunge on the right, really feel that front leg a tiny bit more, but that back leg's working hard too. So your legs are already fatigued when you get to that second side. Um, I typically start on the right side, as in the right leg forward, or the right leg doing more of the work, just out of habit. So it will be my right, your left. I've been trying to do more things back to back where we go right into the next side so it doesn't get confusing. My advice to you though is if you know that one side is a little weaker or a little tighter, start with that side because then you have more of the energy, you can really push through it. So if you know, that's probably what I should start doing because my, um, my right side is tighter, my left side is a little weaker, so it's a little tricky, but start with the side that you don't feel as strong with. Um, and then, you know, it's little tricks that help are to just say like, as you're doing into it, like left, left, left. I know it sounds silly if you're like talking to yourself doing it, but it often can keep you, and then when you're moving, you're like, oh, Oh yeah, then I guess I gotta do it right because I heard myself saying left, left, over and over. And then, or just to think about it and be like, oh, this, this leg feels tired, it must be this leg's turn. But in my newer workouts, I've been trying to just do them back to back just so there's not confusion. But um, I think just coming up with a system that works for you, but if you're able, start with the weaker side. Um, let's see, Lori has a stiff neck. What exercises can I do to help? Oh, really tricky. A lot of us get super stiff necks just from all the things we do, sitting at the computer, on our phones, the phones are a big culprit, um, even sleeping. So what I would say is make sure, one, make sure that you have a good pillow and a good mattress. Sometimes that can be the culprit. Make sure that if you are someone who sits at a desk for work or anytime you're sitting at a computer, that you're taking breaks, that you're not in the same position. A lot of us get what we call tech neck, which is where we're a little bit forward head posture is what we call it. Um, tech neck is the slang term, but forward head posture. So making sure that we bring everything back. Some exercises you can do are just forward and back with your chin. It's a little silly, but bring it in, push it out, bring it in, push it out. And then just some gentle rolls to the side. I typically don't go as much to the back. I stick right side, center, left. You can go to the back, but just imagine that there's a string lifting up that it's not just pulling your head back. Um, but my best piece of advice is to make sure that you are not in the same position too long, which happens a lot with work, looking at our phones, things like that, that you're coming up out of it. Another one, that stretch we do on the wall where you put your fingertips to the back and you look away, that's gonna really help with that neck. But super common, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's see, Colleen hasn't missed her workout since Boxing Day, feeling so strong. Um, let's see. Oh no, Charlotte missed the first round of side lunges because my YouTube dropped out. Ah, I'm sorry, good thing you know enough to figure it out. Um, let's see, Topeka said, I dropped out of the snatch because I felt my wrist twitching. I wonder if there's anything wrong with the way I'm gripping. Anything I can do to get it right? Um, here is the thing, uh, it, snatches are difficult. I don't know if you were doing actually the full snatch. I don't know if I have enough space to show you. I don't do them as often with the kettlebell. I do it with the dumbbell because you just keep it in one place. With the kettlebell, what you wanna do is think of it coming around in a circle. We often think that the kettlebell snatch is a flip, but that's incorrect. It looks like that because it's fast. Really, it's coming around. It's a pretty advanced move. So if you were doing row and snatch, it's tricky and I know you can't really even see me. I don't know if I could show you from here, but I would say just stick to the high pull if that's what you're talking about. Um, it's a little tricky, but you just kind of have to learn to make it with the momentum circle around. I, I should do a tutorial 
online because that's a question we get asked a lot, but that's why I don't do them as often with kettlebells in videos because it really is a tricky thing. It takes a lot of time to really get um, used to that form. So I'd say just stick to the high pull or you can also always switch to a dumbbell if that feels better. All right, team, what did I miss? Let's see. Um, Linda had a tough week, wasn't able to work out much. I'm, this is much needed. I'm so glad that you were here. Aloha, Monique. I wish I could have seen you. She's on a different island. Monique in the Body Fit Athletic Club, um, but connecting over Hawaii. Oh, I loved it there. I want to move there just like you. Let's see. Who did I miss here? We're going to wrap it up here in just a minute. Um, good. Monique also wasn't able to work out, uh, was traveling a bit, I know, but also felt the endurance, but you did it. So you're right there with me. Let's see. Tiara, is it normal for lunges to hurt your big toes? I find myself not able to get low because of it. Any tips not to hurt? So um, most likely what's happening there is that you are a little bit forward. We are, we are quad dominant in our lunges, right? Same thing with squats, where our quads want to do more of the work, right? They are our primary movers. But this is why I always remind you to push through your heels. So what I would say is one, you may be a little bit forward, even though I encourage you to be a little bit forward to get into that front leg, shift your hips back a little bit and then wiggle your toes inside your shoe so your weight has to be in your heels. So when you're in that starting position, feel your toes and take it here. The other thing that you could do is instead of a moving lunge, you know, a reverse lunge, is to keep it stationary and that might help you stay into your heels. So hopefully that helps, but shift your hips back a little, weight in your heels, wiggle your toes. Let's see. Um, Jenna, do you prefer full body workouts or is it better to work lower upper body core on different days? So common question, as you can tell from my calendar, I do a lot of full body and then we alternate with some cardio base and some active recovery. I prefer full body just because I want to get it all in and because I know that everybody's schedule is crazy. This is something I have learned in my own life, but also many, many years working with clients in person directly and, you know, private personal clients and also online clients that if we do a split and we do upper body, lower body core, and then you miss a day, sometimes you feel like you miss a whole body part. So that's why I like a lot of full body. I also think we get less fatigued that way. When you do just lower body or just upper body, you really have to push hard and fatigue those muscles. And sometimes you're really sore the next day or the next two or three days, and it's harder to get back into it. So just in my experience as a trainer in my own life, I wanna give you options where if that's the only workout you're able to get in that week, or you can only get a few, you will get everything in and you'll be able to push through because you're getting breaks because it's not all legs or all arms, right? So certainly doing a split if you have the time, it can get really specific. Um, and you have to be careful with it that you don't overdo it, but that's totally fine. But as you can tell from my calendars, I prefer full body because also that also means that we're getting that cardio in as well. You know me, I want to be time efficient and get it in um, quickly and efficiently for you. Tamika saw our pictures. Oh, thanks. We had a great time. Tamika, I'm so glad that you were able to do it today as well. Let's see. Um, Amy loved the incorporated mobility moves. That's another thing you all know I'm trying to do a lot of sneaky mobility. I call it, we got to get it in. Um, let's see. Kettlebell or weights if body weight wasn't an option. Oh, listen, I love it all. I love all equipment. I think it's good to get variety. You know, I'm a big proponent of that. So you need some days where you get breaks from the weights to just do body weight or just get mobility. Um, but I do love kettlebell a lot. I love a good kettlebell swing. All right, team, let's see, one more question. Alyssa said, I have to stand with one foot forward for my back when doing stuff like presses. So when we're doing the clean and press, doesn't it make the, does it make the clean less effective if I'm doing it with one foot forward? No, as long as you can keep, if you feel like you can keep that good core engagement and good posture, then it's not making it less effective. In fact, it may even be more because you're not getting into your back. Our low backs really want to help with every move. That's why they sometimes get sore or they overwork. So no, don't worry about that. All right, team Charlotte, I did the high pulls catching my kettlebell in both hands. Yes, I love that. Totally fine. So I'm going to try to do a little, a little mimic here without standing, but she was saying she pulled it up and then I think you're saying you caught it here. 
that is a great way to do it where you feel like you can get stable. So thank you for adding that. All right, team, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I will be back next Saturday. It's gonna be super fun. If you're here in the US, we're in the middle of March Madness, the NCAA basketball tournament. I love basketball. That was my favorite sport growing up. So we're gonna do a March Madness themed workout. It's gonna be a good time. I promise you're gonna get full body. You're gonna laugh a bit and you will leave feeling good. So join me for March Madness next Saturday. Check out all the new workouts this week. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out the links and the website for information on the Body Fit Athletic Club. We got some fun stuff coming up in April that I'm gonna tell you about next week. All right, team, have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye.